Hey guys, it's Kami, and I'm back with some uh, pictures for RPG Maker VX or VX Ace, whatever one that you want. And I had pulled them up here in Adobe Photoshop, and I'm going to be editing them. As you can see, I'm going to crop this guy here in the corner. Um, it's 96 by 96, by the way. Um, and I want to make it so it's not this just just generic soldier guy. I'm going to make him into somebody else. So. Actually, I think it might be a lady, <clears throat> but the first thing I'm going to do is you notice that I had um, gotten the dropper and I got this skin color in the background. I'm just going to erase all the features here. And notice that I'm kind of trying to do it carefully as I can. I'm even going to erase like the little, I don't know, cheek area right here. Make sure that we get all of it, including the eyes and stuff like that. And I think it looks pretty good. And do a little bit of that. Oh, we forgot that. Let's get that. And it looks pretty good. So it's all cleared up right here. And what I'm going to do is I have some other one open. And I'm just literally going to copy paste some features. And I think I want to do this lady right here. So I'm going to go ahead and lasso what I want. And some of you might be saying, well, I can't draw or do whatever. It has nothing to do with drawing or anything like that. All, I, all I'm going to mostly do is literally copy paste and then kind of um, working the images in so it'll match up correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and paste it. And I'm going to go ahead and move it and try to position it as best as I can. Well, let's see. How about now that? And I might need to monkey with this quite a bit. We'll see. And you think, oh my gosh, that's sticking out there. One of the things I can do is go ahead and change the opacity to something not quite as extreme so I can actually see through it. And because I don't want her eyebrows, like say, going over her helmet, I can erase that bit. Erase that bit here. And then we can go back. Actually, let's move it. Right, does right there look good? And let's select the eraser and try to clean it up a little bit more. Can you erase the mouth? I don't think that's going to work too well for what I want. You know, a guard is supposed to be a little bit more serious, so she's probably not going to be all, oh, I'm happy. Oops, wrong thing. Change the opacity back to 100, and I can see what went on. So it looks pretty clean. Wait a minute. Ah, there we go. Yeah, because a little bit of her features got cut off. So let's try to fix that again. Sorry about that. It's okay. Like I said, it's um, you have the undo button. So control control Alt Z to step backwards, and we're gonna try to do it. So it does not cut off part of her features, unfortunately, like it did last time. That looks better. And now let's go ahead and take care of her around the face area. Her mouth, since I don't want that part. And let's go ahead and go back to 100% opacity. And it looks pretty good. So now we have this lady. And let's figure out a mouth that we want to use. Mm, I don't see any over here. Let's go to a different one that I have. Uh, I don't know. Hmm. Let's zoom in a little bit. Is there anybody that I want to take from? That one? Maybe. Let's go ahead and... No. Hmm. What about this one? Let's zoom in here. Oops, go down. And let's see if there's one that's going to be a better match. How about the witch girl in the bottom right corner? Her mouth. There. Still a smile that I want on my soldier, but oops, wrong one. But it's not kind of like, I don't know, a little bit, little bit more serious. There we go. And if we're not happy 
with moving it with our arrow we can go ahead and actually use our keyboard to move it gently I think that looks good let's go ahead and erase part of the area over here around the mouth because oops I don't want that hate when it zooms in like that area around the mouth that doesn't mesh up with her skin color because the witch skin color is a little bit lighter and let's go ahead and go around the mouth and that actually looks pretty good so now we have a lady soldier actually she's just a soldier really you know I shouldn't have to preface it by saying lady and what we're gonna do is don't forget the shadow area so I'm just going to go ahead and select that blue color and like we had it before we're going to go ahead and put that there. Let's go ahead and go with darken so it'll darken the image. We don't want opacity at 100% let's put it for about 20. There we go and we're going to go over it so it's a shadow area. We'll do that. Hmm, I don't think that's dark enough so we might have to go over it one more time. Let's try that. There we go. So now she has a shadow from her hat on her, or for her helmet, not hat. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, let's zoom out and see how it looks. And I think it looks pretty good. Yep, I think that's exactly the way I want it. So now we have a, a soldier, and yep, she looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and do another one. I feel like doing another one for you guys. So let's do, how about the girl, school girl, let's do her. So I'm going to go ahead and lasso her up with my square lasso and it's 96 by 96. I'm going to go ahead and do that and crop it. Okay. And of course, just like the other one, I'm going to select a skin tone and then I'm going to erase all her features. With that and then oh we want to make sure it's back to normal at 100 percent opacity because i didn't do that earlier can erase all her features and we're gonna see what we want to do i hate that and i'm gonna do that right here and she's got a little bit more cheek blush going on but we'll still erase that gonna be careful around the eyes especially where her hair is Oops, not quite what I wanted. Yeah, let's step backwards. Okay, we'll leave that there. And her eye. And it looks pretty good. I'm going to do it around her cheek a little bit. Okay, there's our lady. And we're going to check out what features we want. Um, Let's see. How about this one, the fortune teller lady? dancer. I don't know what she is. What is she? And we're going to get her nose and her mouth. Let's see how that looks before we add eyes. And we're going to finally adjust it. Mm, let's see. I don't know. Hmm. It's going to move it with the keyboard a little bit. If, like, so when you're trying to do fine adjustments, you can use your arrow keys to adjust it. And. Hmm. Uh, something's not quite right here. You know what? Hmm. We'll keep the mouth. And let's go ahead and find some more parts. We want to Frankenstein up. Okay, let's get the green hair girl. Zoom in and go ahead and lasso her up. So her nose and her eyes. We're going to go ahead and copy and paste that. And see how that looks. <clears throat> Oh, that looks okay. Why don't we go ahead and 
Hmm. I don't know if that's something I want. I don't think I like that. Well, let's first go ahead and clean the eyes up. Because she doesn't have the green area for her hair anymore in the previous sprite. Oops. Zoom out. Yeah, I don't like that. It looks weird with her mouth open like that. It's not going to do it at all. Why don't we just delete the layer? Delete the layer? Yes. Okay, let's go ahead and find another mouth then. Maybe we'll just take her mouth. I mean, go ahead and create, um, copy it, that is. Go to my lasso tool, copy it, copy. Yeah, that's pretty easy. Paste. And we're going to go ahead and put that in. Hey, there we go. I like that one like a ton better. Gives her a really different look. Zoom out. And actually that looks pretty nice. Kind of gives her a little bit more youthful look innocent look and then we have our soldier she looks pretty good actually I think it came out fairly well so yep those are our two people that we were able to cobble together from different parts you can do this with a lot of different um, the faces for RPG Maker VX Ace um, but yeah I, I think I really enjoyed how enjoyed doing this and showing you guys but um, I think it came out fairly well at least